we can make the camera move in a much nicer way than just sticking straight on where the player is. Many games use camera motion in interesting ways to make the gameplay more engaging. Check out this article by Ite Kieran for a bit more information and analysis on the theory of game cameras and how game cameras work in all kinds of different games. It's really interesting stuff. The link to this will be uh, in the tutorial somewhere. What we're going to try to do is make our camera a new object rather than on the player. We're going to make a new object for the camera and this object will follow the camera around and it'll be a physics smoothing camera movement. So we'll go into our player script and make sure we remove the camera controls from here so we can put it on a new object. So we want to go to our constantly loop in the player controls get rid of center camera on myself. Okay, now we can go and make a new object just for this. So, what could we use? We could use a little heart here. Let's put that in the UI layer. You might want to make a new layer for this above everything else. And I'll put this here. It's kind of outside of my game canvas just so I know that it's not supposed to be in the game. It's technically in the game, but it's not part of the level layout that you see. So we'll add a script to this object, and we need to think about what we want it to do. Well, first of all, we don't want this camera object colliding with things. So we'll say, when the level starts, stop collisions. This block is from physics. Under collisions, we want set any side collisions to false. So no collisions. And we also want it to be invisible. So we'll go to looks and set the visibility of myself to false. So we can't see this heart floating around. Now, we want the camera to center itself on the heart. And then the heart will chase the player around. So we need a constantly loop to tell the camera to constantly center on the, on the heart object. So we go to looks and we want center camera on myself. We'll put that in constantly. Now we want this hard object to use some physics to uh, speed towards the player. So it looks like it's moving towards the player constantly. So we want to use velocity in here. So we'll go to physics, set velocity x, 0, inside the constantly block. We want it to constantly be speeding towards the player. Now, uh, what velocity can we give it? Well, we don't want to give it 0. That'll be just standing still. Uh, so we'll get rid of that. <coughs> We can figure out what the distance between the heart and the player is. We can say uh, position of player minus position of heart. So let's say the player is at 200, the heart's at 0. If we get the difference between those two positions, we get 200. And that'll give it 200 velocity. So let's try that. We want to have a subtraction block to get the difference between those two positions. And then we want to go to transform and grab x position of myself. We'll duplicate our x position of myself block. One of these, this one here, is going to be x position of the player. So we can get rid of that myself. 